What's up boys and girls? I just finished watching the incredible French film Heal the Living. This film was adapted from a 2014 novel and this is the director Cadel Cuevarez's third feature film. First being Love Like Poison and the second being Suzanne. This movie depicts three separate stories from three separate groups of people and who are in the end inherently connected. It massively shows how fragile life really is. Now through this review, I'm gonna be using two words constantly, gentle and beautiful, because it takes a subject like death and it portrays it gracefully. This movie opens with a 14 year old boy named Simon and he's riding a giant wave. This shot is incredible. The cinematography and the audio mixing really accentuate how beautiful the wave is and also how beautiful things in life are. It's a perfect scene to open up the movie considering where this movie decides to go later on. On the way back from the surf trip, Simon is involved in a horrible car accident that leaves him brain dead. Votre fils Simon a eu un grave accident de la route. Mais je comprends rien. The doctor asks the parents whether or not they would consider signing off on Simon's organs being donated after he's dead. The movie abruptly changes to the second story, which is about a middle-aged woman who has a dying heart and her two sons. The plot path the movie takes is fairly predictable, but the journey to the end is what makes the movie special. This movie is centered around dying, but it really is about life. The director loves to show little scenes and little details throughout the whole movie that make you appreciate that life isn't just about going from point A to point B, but it's about enjoying all the little intricacies and the little moments in your life that really make it special. This movie over and over again treats everything with a certain sense of gentleness and sweet bitterness. I mean, it's still a movie about death. The mother's approved for a heart transplant, but before she goes in, she wants to call her son first to tell him that she's gonna go get the surgery. When I was watching it, I was like, hey, go in there and get yourself a new heart. I didn't realize that this could be the last time that she actually talks to her son just in case anything goes wrong. And, and I think this movie depicts it beautifully, how fragile life is and how important the things around you really are. Now, ultimately this film is a very simple story and it rides a very somber note through most of it. It has happy moments, nostalgic moments, sad moments moments with tension, but all of them are still very reserved most of the time. There's not a lot of high peaks and low valleys that really, you know, grab your heart. It's not a tearjerker type of movie. Now what this film does do is it makes you sit back and think about the little things in life that you may have taken for granted. Now if you're looking for a film that's a tearjerker or something that'll pull you emotionally for an hour and a half, this is not going to be the film for you. This movie makes you sit back and think about, you know, the beautiful moments in your life and the things that you may take for granted and it really just makes you appreciate what you have and the people in your life. So for my final score, I give this an 8 out of 10. I really love this film. It was graceful and beautiful and, and quiet in a way. In a time where a lot of movies are very loud and they tell you how to feel and, and a lot of things are spoon fed for you, this movie isn't like that. It, it's, it guides you through gracefully and you can kind of put yourself in the movie through your own thoughts and your own feelings and um, it's very nostalgic and having you think about your own life. Well, this is Ken for another black and yellow movie review for Heal the Living. Um, have you guys seen the movie? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Comment below. Now, if you like independent and foreign films, please subscribe to us below. I'll be back with another independent or foreign movie review next time. See you guys.